Our top story today, family and friends of Christopher Cummings gathered on the Old Dominion University campus on what would have been his 21st birthday. The ODU student was shot to death in his off-campus apartment June 10th. Police still searching for his killer. 10 on your sides, Ann McNamara explains the purpose of today's event. Ann? Katie, the Remember Christopher Foundation teamed up with Christopher's fraternity, Theta Chi, to host this rally, this fundraiser, and a vigil. But Christopher's last Facebook status, as many people know, said the words, speak my mind, pour my heart out. Today, his mother did just that. Overcome with emotion, she stood up in a crowd, and she made a public plea. 20 years of life summed up in a video. Pictures of firsts, of family, of fun. But the good memories have a way of bringing back the pain. This year, Christopher Cummings is not here to blow out the candles. He's gone. It's enough to make his mother stand up in a crowd. I don't want you to know what, what I'm going through. I want you guys to know. I go to his closet, and I left his clothes just like... He went to the fraternity brothers one meeting, and he had to wear a patsu, and he had a, a shirt, a dressing shirt, that he had a robe, and I have that robe stayed in there forever because he did it. I go to his closet and I want everything closed. I want it going to smell my son. This is a mother's feeling. A feeling that spread across a campus in the eight months since Chris's death. His sister Candace begging for change, for an end to the violence. What can ODU do? What can you do? What can Theta Chi do? What can ZTA do? You as an attendee, someone who doesn't even know Chris, what can you do? But no plea for peace, no rally, no birthday party can be more convincing than this warning from his mother. Please, watch you, watch you back all the time. Make sure that you hang with the right person. Make sure you know them very well. No trash them. Don't let people that you don't know go to your house, believe me. Because the one that you think that you know, you don't know them. And by standing up, she hopes others will too. No tip is too trivial. Police need them to find Christopher's killer. There is a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest and a conviction in this case. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side.